Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video. What we're going to be looking at today is how we install 64 gig of RAM into an Intel Nuke. So this machine here is an Intel Nuke. It's running a 9th gen i7 processor. Um, and the modern number of this is the Nuke uh, 8 i7 BEH3. Um, it comes as a sort of base unit with the process obviously embedded on board. Um, and it gives you the ability to add an M.2 NVMe SSD drive as well as a three and a half inch, um, sorry, two and a half inch uh, SSD, SATA SSD inside as well. So um, I'm going to open this up. It's got 32 gig of RAM in it at the moment, and we're just going to remove the old memory and drop the new memory in. So I thought while I'm doing it, I'll share it with you. Um, I think these models, when they were actually advertised on the Intel site, I can't be 100% sure. I, if I remember correctly, they were actually advertised as only being able to support 32 gig of RAM max. But if you actually look at the specs for the processor on the Intel website, it will tell you that the processor is able to handle a maximum of 64 gigabytes of RAM. And I know this will work because I have three of these units of which one of them already has 64 gig of RAM in them. So I'm comfortably going to put this in without an issue and I know it's going to support it. So let's pop it open. I'm just going to put a bit of... Uh, plastic there so that when I turn this around I don't scuff up the nice glazy surface of the uh, nuke. Posi drive, if you haven't got one of these, get yourself one. This is a very nice Stanley screwdriver. It's like a little pen, it's got two ends to it. It has both straight and Phillips bits inside. Very useful when you're doing this sort of stuff and very can you pack away in your drawer as well. So First thing you're going to do is just go ahead and remove the four screws at the bottom. They don't pop out. These are the actual rubber feet as well. So when you unscrew them, what you'll see is there's actually a stopper inside that will stop it from coming all the way out. But as long as it's loose, you know, that's screwed out enough. So just go ahead and loosen all four screws quickly. It should be a very quick operation and make for a nice short length video. Right, just get these open quickly. Right, okay, so they're open. Once they're open, what you'll see is if you pull it a little bit, the bottom will come, that bottom plate will come away from the nuke right, completely and there's no wires attached in there. So you can just remove it and you can put that aside. So inside you can see you've got your uh, two memory dims and then you've got the NVMe SSD as well. This has currently got a Sabrent one terabyte disk in there. Nothing special, but it does the job. If you're interested, I have three of these. What I use them for is I actually use them for a VMware cluster. So this is running an ESX cluster, um, or, or, or this is one of three nodes in an ESX I cluster. And uh, it's they're really nice machines for this sort of a project. I use them a lot for lab work and uh, sort of training myself for my job. Um, so very, very convenient, cost-effective way of creating a little VMware lab at home. Um, if it's something that you're interested in learning more about, let me know. I'll be more than happy to share some videos on, on what I've got set up. So out pops one of the course here, but it's a shame because this is a vengeance team now. These are, these are generally sort of uh, gaming grade memory dims. So I'm going to put these aside for now. Um, I don't know what to do with them anymore. Maybe I'll stick them into another laptop or something to 16 gig dims there coming out. So that's the old memory out and we'll get the new memory in. So the spec of this new memory in case you're interested, this is DDR4 RAM as is the old one. Um, this is 2666 megahertz memory, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is DDR4, two, uh, DDR4 2666 SO dims. Um, and obviously because it's a 64 gig kit, each module itself um, will be a 32 gig module, as you can see there. So to pop them in, what you'd quite simply do is you will just line them up and make sure you've got it the right way around because there's a little pin there that needs to line up with the plastic inside the actual memory modules uh, bracket and you just push it down. You push it down enough and the, the clips on the side will just lock back in place and you know that's in. And it literally is as simple as that. So we'll go ahead and do the second one. Again, I'll hold it up to the camera and try and do it so you can see what's happening. So there's a pin there 
it's it's more to one side than it is to the other so you can't really put it in the wrong way and that's why they've designed it like that but you just put it in so that the pin the teeth or, or, or the actual or the connectors are no longer exposed and you just push down and as long as as long as there you go, push down enough and they're going to clip into place there you go that's it memory upgrade complete this all obviously is a sata port here you can see i haven't got a sata drive in this one at the moment um i've taken the the actual uh, bracket sata mounting bracket out of this so i'm not going to bother trying to drop a drive in there for now i probably have got a spare one but i don't need it in there at the moment so once you've got that on all you want to do is make sure you line up this uh in the correct direction so it's got an arrow pointing to the front the front is obviously where you've got the front usb panels and the actual power button as well and the headphone jack so as long as you line that up and you put it in the right way it's going to drop back into place fairly easily and then all you're going to do is take your screwdriver i have no idea why i flipped that around and just tighten the screws up and there you have it that there is how how long it takes to upgrade or how easy it is as well to upgrade the memory on your intel nuke uh, so if you are wondering whether or not this specific model supports 64 gig of ram well now you know the answer yes it does and if you were wondering how easy or difficult it might be to upgrade memory on one of these maybe you bought the unit off uh, off a website where everything was already installed and you hadn't opened it yourself but you're at a point now where you wanted to open it and upgrade it well now you know it's not difficult at all you don't need to get someone else to do it for you you just go ahead and upgrade it yourself and there you go so thank you very much for tuning in if you have liked the video please leave a how do i do a thumbs up there there we go thumbs up like that and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button in the corner over there somewhere. There's a little subscribe button. Please do hit that so you'll be notified of any future upcoming videos that I'll be posting on YouTube, on the channel. Thank you very much once again. Take care and all the best. Bye-bye.